Hey, what's up people? This is Theo back with another episode. This is Shakedown, episode 22. Now we come to the second part in our Let's Talk About Sex series. Uh, the first one, we kind of gave a bit of a few eyebrows, but the second one now, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty of it all. And uh, and this part, I'm going to be talking about um, people who are in long-term relationships. How do you kind of keep um, that fire going? How do you keep that passion going? So stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. Okay, so did you guys know that women are more likely twice as men to lack um interest in sex when you're living with a partner this is for the guys this is for the guys who are in um long-term relationships but it's a worrying statistic and um you have to kind of be on your game when it comes to living with a partner or being with a partner for a long time now in the whole grand scheme of things we know that when we are attracting um our partners whether that be straight or gay or whatever the attraction is an important part yes but it's how you kind of blend together um in essence that makes a relationship worthwhile to have so what can you do to kind of rectify the problem if you did if you had your significant half having lack of interest in it just thinking no i don't want to do it anymore right for the first thing you got to do is talk about the problem instead of letting it fester just talk about the problem you could actually be there and saying oh oh i don't feel good i don't do this or whatever honestly it feels good to we actually get your problems out there and just talk um, there's, it's no good actually coming up and saying like you know not having to have nothing to say which I'm trying to say it's no good doing that what you need to do is just speak about the problem and hopefully you come up with a better idea about where you want to go in your relationship um, you just got to you just got to try in a way second thing that you need to do is explore other ways of intimacy you can't just always having to be always thinking about sex and everything because that adds on too much pressure. Um, what you got to do is just explore other forms of it, such as holding hands, you know, cuddling, um, you know, stroking each other when you're watching um, a TV show or a film. So it's like all that sort of thing just comes to pass. Letting letting a person know that you feel um, connected to them in such a way. It's no good not having to be um, far apart because of it, because of it. It's it's got to feel like there's something gonna go on here. Um, there's something that they got to kind of look forward to. I like looking forward to um, just going in, going home, being being cuddled by my partner. You know, being being loved by my partner and everything else. Um, the third thing you need to do is. Um, just make your partner feel wanted and comfortable and respected and important all these sorts of things just calibrate into a great relationship because like it's no good having to come home from work and everything else and you're not feeling um, a hundred percent great about yourself and everything you know make your partner feel wanted try to do things out their way for them so that you know at least then you know you know where you stand you know and a partner can appreciate what you're trying to do so it's like you can do little things like i don't know like cook for them or or run a bath for them or doing something that's like you know that shows that you can you're thinking of your your partner you just needs to get onto that uh level playing field so just think about that and you'll be fine now um another thing that you could do is get additional support so you could see a sexual therapist you could see a relationship counselor um you can see your people you know people who who's offering support so you could talk to you know your family members who might share some impartiality on the on the, on the relationship it could be a friend 
Um, it could be somebody think, all right, maybe you feel you won't feel comfortable about speaking to other people, but hear this, right? Having to get an outside an opinion on it all does kind of help because if you really think about it, getting outside outside opinion um, kind of gives you the idea of what you need to do and how you need to do it. It gives you a good mindset into doing the relationship, you know? So I'm just trying to say to you that if you really think that um, support is what you need, go and get some support. Make sure it's on a level playing field. Make sure you, you're you going to be open to talk about these issues and just like be able to put into practice. So try and see what you can do and then go forth from there. Okay. Um, one thing that you should be able to do really is take up pillow talk. Now, obviously, pillow talk is just obviously you and your partner just lying down there. And it's a good way to just, you know, um, to for kissing. But it's a good u tool to use for communication. Um, it's a good opportunity to, dis to discuss really um, one's sexual needs and wants um, in an intimate f fashion. Um, it's a good relaxed way to actually get to know the partner so you can actually feel the connection um, going strong um, and if you're in a long-term relationship it's a good idea to do this so I really could urge you to go ahead and just kind of speak um, to each other and just make you feel that each other were just wanted and everything make it nice make it just um, pleasant to be around instead of thinking that yo I'm just gonna just jump into bed I'm gonna have sex wham bam thank you ma'am kind of thing and then go to sleep it's not good um, talk about how you want to, 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 to how you like things how you could actually do things yes you kind of do things on a spontaneous level but um, it's good to actually try and see where you both stand so that at least then when you get enough practice you may have, you'll be able to enjoy it. So that's where I'm coming from. Um, I hope you guys can take this advice on board. Um, right. Uh, the other thing that you could do is don't believe in locker room talk. We all know that we all like to boast and big ourselves up into in our peer, peers. Um, and you know, we say, yeah, I'm good at doing this or I'm good at doing that. You know, we know that um, we we know that we all do it. We all do it. But the thing is, though, we can't keep on having to exaggerate and everything else. And um, just just don't just don't compare yourself to anybody else. What's more important is what you do um, in the bedroom. So just try to um, just don't compare to everybody else it's wrong to do that so try not to do that um one thing also that you need to do is that you need to start thinking that your life your sex life is like a porn a porn um, film don't compare yourself to it because it's way 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 different than it looks um and um, i'm not going to go into it but i'm just literally saying that it's way way different than than you actually think so don't try to think that you could be an absolute porn star try and think of yourself as just a normal person you know it doesn't have to be somewhat thinking that oh yeah i can actually be a porn star and everything else like you know you got the, the mindset of it and everything else all i can say is that i think in this day and age people need to go for that natural uh, relationship that natural intimacy you know we all have our needs and wants we all need um what it's like to use um toys or 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 other situations that kind of make it manifest itself go ahead and do that but what i'm saying is don't try to um to compare yourself to that try and be as normal as you can possibly be because you know in the in the bedrooms in in the bedroom the one thing you can't i can't do is just literally say yeah i'm gonna like do this and i'm gonna do like that and you're trying out positions and it doesn't work and you just need to kind of like yeah it's adventurous but you have to keep working hard at it but the reason why i'm trying to say this to you is because many people just try and think that yeah you learn so much from from porn no you don't you learn by talking to people 
you learn by knowing what's going on knowing what what you're doing you learn yourself when you're actually doing it and everything else and if you've got a partner that can actually understand you and try to you know understand like try to not just trying to make you better at sex but it's also trying to make sure that you are comfortable with that person so it takes a lot of trust involved in this so try your best to don't compare yourself to being a porn star okay one one of the things that we don't do is that we don't focus on uh pleasurable sensations and what i mean by that is trying to um investigate like what's our best stress reliever um in terms of obviously it great sex is just making sure that you are less stressed about anything um you should not you should it's it's it makes you kind of like you know what's the best way of trying to actually say this I think really you have to kind of think to yourself that sex right does alleviate stress because stress is the enemy it's like everything that's about life that kind of gets you in such a way thinking that oh yeah the world's tough and everything else but there are good things there are uh, things that kind of make you feel um, so much better about yourself um, not just sex but everything else but you need to focus on the good parts so one thing you need to do is like try not to worry so much about it try and say that um, try and say to yourself that if you make yourself anxious about things it's just not going to work focus on all the good things focus on um, like kissing we're kissing body parts certain body parts um, try and do massages try and make somebody feel so much more comfortable it's mad um like i don't know you gotta you gotta do you gotta do certain things to kind of alleviate the stress so that when your partner is around you it's more of a comfortable thing instead of a stressful thing you want to be um so happy around that person that you know nobody can't tell you anything or when you go into work the next day you know what i feel good because you know that person's made me feel good so try and focus on that one of the things that really kind of um irritates even me is about size so and you people think that size matters it doesn't matter in more more or less really what you should be doing is focusing on foreplay focus on just being intimate with the person so if you've got a person around you like you know there's nothing wrong with cuddling stroking as i said even kissing all those sorts of things it's um it's a harmonious lovely thing to do so try your best to kind of um do what you can to kind of make sure that it's not so much about being size it's about it's about how you are generally um in the bedroom or you know wherever you may be so try and do that um one more thing people don't do this as well you know people don't um schedule sex and you think that it's a bad thing you're dead wrong if you schedule it you've got something to look forward to it's not gonna have you don't have to be necessarily think yeah it's all gonna be a routine thing but it's good to kind of schedule it so you know right you've got something to work towards something to look forward to otherwise you're just gonna go into a relationship and you're gonna you're gonna do your own thing and everything and you don't have time for it because of work because of what you do in the house cleaning cooking whatever all that sort of thing just culminates into a fact that you know you get pressured into um, a low sense of security so what you need to do is schedule it find time and just go ahead and just do it you know um, if you can you can develop sexual rituals and you know what else would have what would happen if you schedule sex you can actually do it and you can actually get better at it over time um and if you do these sexual rituals massages whatever yeah i'm saying that it's going to get better over time you've got something to look forward to you've got something to 
be pleased about and to be happy about. So if I were you, um, schedule sex, it's, 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 it makes things so much, so much more easier. So just go ahead, do that and, you know, just enjoy yourself. So we come to the end of episode 21. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Um, please hit the subscribe button. It would help me enormously. Um, over the next few weeks, it is Black History Month and I'm going to be speaking a fair few things about um, my history as well as everybody else's. So stay tuned in, in that. Um, we're hearing everything from a men's perspective. So I'm going to be focusing on that during Black History Month. Um, yeah, so episode 23 is going to come out very, very soon. Um, in the meantime, though, I wish you the best of days, um, whatever you get up to, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.